YouTube. How are you? Um, this is a packing video of my Royal Envy Hobo Bee. Um, I'm going to, I'm using it as my pump bag because I have a Medela pumping style and it came with this ugly black big bag. Let's see, big, ugly, black. And I don't like it. And I feel like it's really bulky. And so I have been looking for something to put it in. And I bought this Hobo Bee. And it's too small for me right now. Because I have a 7 month old. So I'm still carrying a lot of things that you know I won't need later. And so I want to go ahead and use this now for something. Um, instead of it just sitting in the closet. And so this is kind of what I've come up with. Um, I want to preface this with saying everything is already unzipped. Because it's a pain to do so while trying to film with one hand. So, um, obviously, in real life, all these little pouches and stuff would be zipped up. Um, so, start with the mommy pocket. The mommy pocket attached to the key fob. I have a small set piece. And in it, I have the tubing for the pump. So, that just slides right down in there. And that's handy. And then also, in the mommy pocket... I have an EOS lotion and an EOS lip balm because I found that once I get pumping, that's when I'm like, oh man, I wish I had my chapstick. So that way it's handy and, you know, I've got it. Um, also, there's plenty of room. You could put a candy bar down in there or a, you know, whatever. Granola bar, I guess, if you're healthy. <laughs> um, any kind of little snack would also, or a couple of little snacks, would also fit down in there. Um, so that's a great place to put little kind of mommy things if you had something that you wanted to carry in your pump bag. Um, also on the end, I have one of these little bottles of water because I'm always thirsty when I'm pumping. And I love the way those these little bottles fit in the bottle pockets of a Hobo Bee. If you put a big bottle in there, it'll stick way up. So I really like the way it fits, I guess. Um, so let's dive into the inside. Let's see if I can get this so you can see what's going on in here. Maybe you can see. Okay, this side I have, let's start with this. Piece. This is a custom medium set piece. Um, before they came out with sets in Royal Envy, I'm impatient and didn't know, you know, they would never say, yes, we're doing that, or no, we're not. So, I gave up and <laughs> had my own medium set piece made. And so, this is actually just a little bit deeper than a regular medium set piece. But, I think that this stuff would actually probably go in a medium set piece. But So, here's what I've got in here. If you look, there are the two uh, shields, I guess is what they call those. They're both in there. And then I have two neat pouches in here. Because I have all my be neats that I use at home hanging on the fridge. And so I have these extra pouches that I don't really know what to do with. And I've been looking for something to do with them. And so I have this part of the pump in there to keep it clean. Or if it's dirty and I need to just put it up in a hurry... And I don't have time to wash it. Then I can just throw it back in this little bag. And cinch the little thing up. And the dirty's not going to get all over my bag. So I really thought that was a great little idea. And you could also just throw, you know, if you had it in there like this. And you only needed to take one with you for whatever reason. You could just throw it down in here by itself. You don't need it in the medium set piece. But I like... Having all four of those items together in the medium set piece. So, and then this is the next thing on this side. And it is, I believe, Infamil. But I'm not positive. Um, the formula company sent this home from the hospital with me. And when I had my son. And it's, I actually have two of them. And it's been sitting in the closet and I didn't know what to do with it. And... But I've hung on to it because I'm a hoarder like that. Um, but here's how it looks compared to a fuel cell. So it is it is dramatically smaller than a fuel cell. But it's actually also smaller than the bag 
that Medela sends, which is black and you can't really see it like this. It's about the same width as that bag, but it's skinnier. So it fits. Um, I also want to show you that this bag, if you put it in here next to the pump, this Mandela bag will actually fit in there. And if you're creative, you know, it'll zip up. But I just didn't like how bulky that looked. So that's why I dug out this little bag. So there's that. I can get it out. That's the little Medela bag, freezer bag that comes with the pump and stuff. I just threw across the room by accident. <laughs> but so down in this little bag, I have a freezer pouch or a frozen ice pouch and three of the Medela bottles their little lids. So that's what's in there. And I have three because even if I have to pump twice, I usually in one pump session, I'm only able to pump between two and three ounces on each side. And so if I pump two bottles and I put them down in here, then I need to pump again. I can pour the two together and then I have two new bottles to pump into, if that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of what I do with three bottles, but I also have some bags in here in case whatever crazy world I live in and I needed to pump multiple times and ran out. Um, I also have had the thought that if I had like all three of these bottles full and I needed to pour some into a bag to be able to pump, I could always move one of these bottles if especially if it's not going to be a long time, into the bottle pocket because of the Fensolate. If the bottle, you know, is full of breast milk and you don't have room in here anymore for it because you need to put it a bag in there, then you could put the bottle po in the bottle pocket and the Fensolate would keep it cool at least for a little while um, until you could get it home and into the fridge. So that's a thought too. But so there's three in there. Now, if you look in this back pocket, I have one of the Medela Quick Clean Steam Bags. And I've only ever bought one package of these because I don't use them that often. I just use them on the occasional outing. And so, this is a new one. Um, but I have it back in this pocket just in case I was ever someplace and needed to really wash my parts good. Um... And then I have some of these Medela Quick Clean Wipes in this mesh pocket. Um, laying here on top of everything, on top of the pump, I have the AC adapter because that's what I usually use. Um, I have a car adapter in my car as well. And I just keep it in the dash or in the glove box because I don't need it anywhere but in the car. So... That's just where it lives for me. Um, but so here's the AC adapter. And then in this mesh pocket, you can't really see it, but I have the battery adapter. There are no batteries in it because I have never used it. But I feel like maybe in a pinch, if I really needed it, I could scrounge up eight AA batteries or I could run into Walmart. And plus, I'd also just rather have it all together in one bag. Like if it's going to live in the Medela bag, I want it all to live in the Medela bag. So, you know, I want it all to live in the Hobo Bean. But, and so then, let's do the zipper pocket first, yes. In the zipper pocket, I have a coin purse. Beautiful, beautiful coin purse. And inside my coin purse, I have the membranes. These are my extra membranes. And I have cut the box down to where they fit, you know, like with a little hole. And it just slides down in there. So if I need one, I can just dig me one out if I need a new one. So, this works to keep them clean and keep them separate. I just dump them out. No. 
sorry. But so that's what's in there. And then also in this pocket, I have two of the Lane Snow bags like I talked about earlier. So that just in case I had extra, I have somewhere to put it if I really, in a pinch, needed someplace. These are what I use in the freezer. So it may end up there. It, you know, it may be destined to be in one of these bags anyway. But that's that box. And so the last thing is actually this big monster Medela pump. The actual pump. Um, and I stole somebody, I don't know whose idea. I took one of my husband's old socks, and it's clean, um, and stretched it over it just so that the metal pieces didn't scratch up my bag because they were kind of sharp on the corners and stuff. And it's not the prettiest thing to look at. But besides you all, I don't know that I'm ever going to really take it out of the bag because the way it can sit in the hobo bee... You know, I can just hook my tubing up, and the tubing can stick out of the bag without, you know, any major production. And so, it, it's pretty much just going to live in here. So, who cares what it looks like, and it won't scratch up the inside of my bag. Um, so, that's packing in a, a my Medela pump in style um, pump in a Hobo Bee. Sorry this is so long, but... Thanks for watching.